So let's talk about how to complete a table and graph a proportional relationship. When they ask you to complete a table, all they're asking you to do is to use the equation that they gave you, for example, y equals x, and find out what all the y values are. Well, for the first equation, y equals x, that's pretty simple because what they're saying is that all the y's are equivalent to all the x's. So once you know what x is, then you know that y is going to be the same amount. So if x is 0, then y is also 0. If x is 2, then y is 2. If x is 4, then y is 4. If x is 6, then y is also 6. So that's part one of each of these problems. The next thing you have to do is then graph all the points that were given on the table. So the first point is 0, 0. And all that means is you're plotting the point where x is 0 and y is 0 at the same time. So that would be right here. You're going to pick any two points that you want. So here we'll do 2 and 2 where x is 2 and y is 2, which is right here. And so from there, typically the line will show up when you're completing this skill in IXL. But since we don't have that luxury right now, where x is 4, y is 4, and where x is 6, y is 6. And so the line is being created by all those points that are coming together to make a straight line. You'll know that you're correct because the line that was created in IXL will also include the other points that you might not have chosen to graph initially. So for the next one, we have y equals 2x. And so this time, what it means is when you see y equals 2x, what that's telling you is that all of the x values are being multiplied by 2. So all you have to do is create an xy table. And since all the x's are being multiplied by 2, indicate that all the x's are being multiplied by 2. And then as you write down each x value, the first x value was 1. You multiply that by 2, so you know that y is 2. The second x value is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. And 4 times 2 is 8. So since 4 times 2 is 8, now we know the values that go onto the table are 2, 4, 6, and 8. Then from there, all you have to do is plot all the points. So the first pair is 1, 2. X is 1. Y is 2. So X is 1 right here. Y is 2 right here. So we'll meet right there. And then for the second point, X is 2. Y is 4. That will meet right here. The third point is 3. X is 3. Y is 6. And the fourth point would be X is 4 right here. Y is 8 right here. So that point should be right there. And again, it should always be going through 0, 0. And all of the points on your table should be clearly represented when you check it on the table, on the graph. The third scenario is when they give you a fractional coefficient. So, for example, here, y equals 1 fourth x. The procedure is no different. I'm just going to show you a different way to multiply a whole number by a fraction. So, if we say y equals 1 fourth x, once again, all the x's are being multiplied by 1 fourth. So I write my table, x and y. I identify that since all the x's are being multiplied by 1 fourth, I'm going to write x times 1 fourth to remind me. I take my 0 value, 0 times 1 fourth, or well, anything times 0 is 0. So when x is 0, y is still 0. And I expect that because it's a proportional table, so you should always be going through 0, 0. When x is 8, 8 times 1 fourth, Here's the shortcut to doing this in your head. When you're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, you can very simply take the whole number, divide it by the denominator, and then multiply it by the numerator. 
So what that will look like, it will be 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then 2 multiplied by 1 gives you 2. And so 8 times 1 fourth is really 2. And so when you get good at that, you'll be able to do it on your head. So we'll do it again for 16. 16 times 1 fourth would be 16 divided by 4 equals 4. And 4 times 1 is 4. So 16 times 1 fourth is 4. So now we know that when, zero, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 8, y is 2. And when x is 16, y is 4. From there, all we have to do is plot the points 0, 0, 2, 8, four, uh, 6. I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Let's fix that. 0, 0, when x was 8. When x is 8, y is 2. And when x is 16, y is 4. So again, 0, 0, 8 in the x, 2 for y. 16 for x went with 4 for y. So the last scenario, very similar to the one before it. We're told that y equals 2 fifth x. And so all we're going to do is recognize that all of the x's should be multiplied by 2 fifth to get the y value. So x times 2 fifth is going to give me y. So when x is 0, 0 times 2 fifth is still going to be 0 as always. 5 times 2 fifth, again, that will be 5 divided by 5, which is 1. And then 1 multiplied by the numerator, which is 2, gives me 2. So that means y is 2. For 10, same process, 10 times 2 fifth, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 2 gives me 4. That means that when x is 10, y is 4. Then all I have to do is plot it. So 0, 0. When x is 5, y is 2 right here. And when x is 10, y is 4 right here. So 0, 0, 0, 0, when x is 5, y is 2, when x is 10, y is 4, and that's it. And again, your line is going to show up automatically when you do this in IXL. And then you're just going to confirm that all the points that you had in the table, so this should have been 0, 2, and 4, 0, 0, 5, 2, and 10, 4, should all show up on the table when you check it. And so that's the gist of the skill.